Hey crew, welcome aboard. Today I'm taking you beneath the waves to reveal one of the coolest secrets in military tech, how submarines launch missiles while hidden deep under the ocean. We've all seen those epic movie moments. A sub glides silently below the surface and suddenly, whoosh, a missile rockets up breaking through the water and soaring into the sky. But how do they pull off this mind-blowing trick? Let me take you back in time for a second. During World War II, submarines were basically underwater hunters. Their secret weapon? Torpedoes. Silent, deadly, and perfect for sneaking up on enemy ships. Missiles? That was pure science fiction back then. But fast forward to today, and submarines have become floating missile silos. I'm talking about giants like the Ohio class. These things carry enough firepower to shake the world, and they can do it without ever showing themselves on the surface. The real magic? Submarine-launched ballistic missiles, or SLBMs. These aren't just big missiles. Think of them as intercontinental powerhouses, often nuclear-tipped, able to fly across oceans. So how do you actually launch one underwater? Buckle up, because here's where things get wild. First, the missile sits upright in a tough, watertight tube. The key lies in the watertight seal, which when missile hatch is opened, prevents seawater entering the launch tube. Once the launch process starts, the watertight seal breaks due to air pressure. Before seawater can rush in, the gas generator inside instantly produces large amounts of gas which pumps through tubes into the bottom of the missile tube. At this point, under the powerful thrust of the gas, the missile bursts out of the water. Once it reaches the air, the missile's engine at the base ignites, generating an immense thrust. However, this underwater launch method only allows missiles to pass through 40 meters of seawater. In Ohio-class submarines, a small rocket booster is installed on the side of launch tube, which heats the cold water in the tank with a flame causing it to boil. The resulting high-pressure steam propels the missile out of the launch tube at an even higher speed, solving the problem of launching missiles from deep underwater, keeping the submarine hidden. But here's the trick. It's not just flying through seawater, it's riding inside a protective gas bubble. Why? Because you really don't want saltwater messing with a delicate rocket engine. So how is that bubble created? As the gas generator fires, it blasts a huge volume of high-pressure gas into the launch tube. That gas doesn't just push the missile out, it also rushes around it, forming a bubble that shields it from the water. But subs don't just launch ballistic missiles. Many can fire cruise missiles too, like the famous Tomahawk. Some use the same vertical tubes, others launch from modified torpedo tubes. That's what makes submarines the ultimate secret weapon. They can strike land, ships, or even other subs, often before anyone even knows they're there. So, next time you see a submarine missile launch on screen, remember, it's not just movie magic, it's real, and it's some of the most advanced engineering out there. What surprised you the most about how these launches work? Let me know in the comments. And if you loved this deep dive, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss my next adventure underwater.